So, first of all, H of T represents the path. We're not looking for the path of the ball. We're talking about the A couple things that we can talk about is we say, all right, well, I know that the velocity is based on the derivative of the position function, right? So immediately, I, when I'm seeing these types of problems, when I hear like velocity or acceleration, and I'm, talk, and I'm given something with position, I automatically am going to want to go to the derivative. Now, do not just go and say v sub t, velocity, because we have no idea what v sub t, what v represents. Even though we know that we're talking about velocity, v could represent something else. So if you want um, the derivative of your position function to represent v sub t, then just write a statement like this h prime of t is equal to v of t. Now we can use this exclusively as velocity. Does that make sense? But please just do not insert something and then just assume that we all know what you're talking about. Right? x, the position goes by x, h, s. It goes by a lot of different variables. Don't just assume, oh, I'm going to write v. Everybody should know that's velocity. So make sure if you're going to use v sub t that you just use that statement there. Okay? So now that I have that. Um, identified or defined, I'll just go ahead and use v sub t, which is my derivative of h of t. So that's going to be equal to a negative 32t. Yes? OK. And OK. I forgot t is equal to seconds. Um, and then how, how long does it take for it to, fit, to meet the ground, which we said, which we learned in the last problem, which took five seconds? So therefore, I'm just going to do v sub 5. v sub, like f of v sub. f of v of 5. I'm just saying v sub 5. v sub, rather than ma master right down. Um, so now we just want to go ahead and take a look at negative 32 times 50. So negative, huh? Negative, I don't know. I'm going to negative 160. And then obviously we want to go ahead and use the um, scale, or make sure we use the units. It's feet per second. Make sure, guys, remember, as we talked about, that units usually a lot of times is a point all of in itself. So I want to make sure that we're careful. That's why I added in there t is in seconds, and then we have feet as our unit up there. So again, our velocity is feet per second. And then the other thing that's important for us to look at is it's negative. Does that make sense in the context of the problem? Yeah, because it is falling, right? Velocity is speed and direction. We're going down. Direction is negative. So it makes sense that the ball is falling. It's going down in a negative direction, OK?